What's up guys, can't wait to show you what this 186 looks like in its final form. So obviously three, four months ago, we went and picked this car up from H-Town. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and do it now. Um, I needed a lot of work to get up to dealer standard. Uh, we were willing to take that risk because we want to be able to provide these kind of cars to you guys. Um, let's start off with the cost breakdown. So we, we took it back to, to white, um, cost us $6,200 because it needs some rust repairs and some pulling and this and that and this and that. But the paint job actually turned out really good, so you're going to be impressed. Um, what else did it need? You remember that crunchy gearbox? We ended up getting that changed, and while we were at it, we did a clutch. That cost us about three five. Those gearboxes used to be a lot cheaper back in the day, but since the parts have just become a bit more scarce, it's harder to find. Um, cluster, it's a Nissan, so obviously it doesn't work. Uh, we had to get that replaced and fixed, um, which was 500 bucks. Uh, WAF, we missed the recheck I think two or three times, which was crazy. I think it was a drive shore one as well. We wanted to make sure that it was all legit. Um, that cost us about 350 along with the service as well. Uh, then it was missing, well not missing, but all the adjusties were cooked. Uh, needed a cert for the wheels because it didn't have the cert for the proper wheels. So we got it all recerted, new adjusties. That cost us about 28, I believe. Um, all up. It ended up costing us, I think, $13,350 for the repairs, and the car cost us $24,000, so it was, let's do some quick math there, it was $37,350. We're gonna try to sell it for around forty seven, dollars so we're gonna try and make that nine dollars to $10,000 on it, but that obviously doesn't include all our time and all that capital invested over that three, four month period. Um, hope you guys love what it's come out like, because we definitely do, so pew. Uh, so where were we? Um, obviously, hot cake, we've already had heaps of hits on it, um, so we thought we'd get this video out the way very quickly. Gearbox, obviously, we knew it had a crunch. Um, I actually had to just replace the gearbox with a rebuilt one that we got, um, and then I just got the clutch done at the same time. I generally, when we do like gearbox things, unless the clutch is like near new, we just like to do the clutch because the last thing you want to do is like do the gearbox and then, I don't know, soon after the clutch goes or something like that. It's just a drama. It's not worth it. Um, you might as well just pay the one labor. Um, so we did that. I think it was just a heavy duty clutch, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, it's good. So let's just go for a little hoon. We'll take it for a boost. Let's see what you guys think. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds really good. We were cute. We thought it was going to make the recheck and then the guy's like, this is actually, you've missed the recheck by three months. We're like, far out. The time flies <laughs> when you're having fun. Um, so yeah, that we even missed that by quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's good. It's gone so many hands. So I don't know, like, it's obviously, if it sells at the price that we want, it's going to make a bit of money. But I think overall, when you think about it, it's a lot of effort to try and make that money. Bro, hard. What's this? Everyone's turning right. Somebody help me. I just want to go home, come on, please, no more right turns, here we go, here we go, we made it. Okay, let me reverse her in. Oh good guys, so just let's wrap it up. Um, I'll give you a breakdown of what we've kind of done again. Um, engine bay obviously has been painted white. We've taken all the piping off, we've got those bits um, fixed up. We've got the damage that was done to the front um, fixed as well. Uh, we took it to drive shore. That's why we chose drive shore, just to make sure it's done to a high standard. Um, and it was, it passed through that. Um, obviously we've changed the adjusties like I discussed before. Um, so those are brand new. Um, we've got the car certified fully on the wheels that it's actually got because it wasn't certified on those before. Um, some rust repairs done to the back. Engine wise, there wasn't anything wrong with it. I think some minor things, um, which not really worth mentioning. We've got a list for about 45.995. Um, we do have interested people already. Um, the only thing left now is probably a really good detail just to get it that extra little bit of juice. Um, and then she's good to leave the yard. So I guess wish us luck and let's see how it goes. And it's sold one week later guys and we managed to get the 186 sold. Now that was quick and easy. It was to one of our YouTube subscribers who managed to get himself $500 off the car just because he was a YouTube subscriber. And remember, every thousand subscribers, we're also going to give away $1,000. So what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and let's get going.